the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Uh, every Sunday from the Holy Lent is given a name by the church. And the name summarizes the events of the week so that we can benefit from it. So, so like su last Sunday, it was a Sunday of the treasures so that everyone will ask, where are my treasures? Are my treasures on earth only? Or do I have any treasures in heaven? Did I help someone? Did I help the poor people? Did I visit the sick people? What is my treasure in heaven? That's last Sunday. This Sunday is called the Sunday Temptation Sunday, called the Temptation Sunday. Again, all the names are given by the church for a special me uh, message. So in the special me message, uh, there are two messages in uh, Temptation Sunday. The first message is about the three temptations which the devil tried on the Lord Christ. The temptation, the first one, is for uh, being hungry or the lust of the flesh. And the second temptation, when he asked him to throw himself from the top of the altar, is the glory of, uh, of the world, but it was going to hurt him for sure. And the third one is asking the Lord to worship the devil and he will give him all the money in the world. And who cares about the money in the world? Who cares? So the three temptations, in the temptation Sunday are the same temptations that we are exposed to the same temptation that we are exposed to now in the New Testament, the same type of temptation given by the devil in order to make us fall. But one additional point is probably you are going to hear this for the first time. You didn't know it before. What is happening as far as the sequence of events the sequence of events after the Lord Christ was baptized from St. John the Baptist and the heaven opened and the voice of the Father said and declared, this is my only begotten son. To him, I am well pleased. Many people would say um, uh, mission of the Lord Christ start, started from this point. And actually the church used to have the Holy Land after uh, Epiphany for many years until uh, Pope Demetrius uh, came in and changed that system. Why? Why changing the system from starting fasting after baptism of the Lord to the way it is now? Very important reason. The Lord Christ deliberately did not want to start his mission on a high note. Uh, it is human beings who do this, that I am on a high note, that uh, heaven opened and declaration from heaven, let me start my missionary work afterwards. No, the Lord Christ started his mission after a lot of humility. And is, this is always the, the case when someone is humble, then this is step one for achievement. This is why in the Gospel according to St. Mark chapter 1, it gives the sequence of the events. The event was in the Jordan River and in which uh, the declaration that this is the Son of God, the declaration from heaven. And right after this, the Lord did not start his missionary work. The Lord allowed to be tempted by the devil in or, which this is why we call it the temptation Sunday, uh, in order for us, number one, to learn how to overcome the devil, because it was a lesson for us, and also to show us that always good things are achieved through humility. You want to achieve something, be humble. Be humble, the Lord will give you achievement. And this is what the Lord did. He did not start on a high note for missionary work, but he allowed himself to be in the wilderness to be tempted. This is why in Mark 
chapter 1 it said immediately immediately the word immediately after baptism the spirit drove him into the wilderness and then he started to be tempted by the devil and defeated the devil repeatedly in all of it uh, his holiness pope demetrius the first who is number 12 uh, among the popes اللي هو البطريرك ال12 اللي هو اسمه البابا ديمتريوس الاول غير النظام الصوم الكبير كان الصوم الكبير بيبتدي بعد الابيفاني غيره عمله مظبوط ازاي لان المسيح ما ابتداش الميشنري ورك بعد الابيفاني المسيح ابتدى الميشنري ورك بعد التمتيشن فعشان كده هوت النظام الحالي اتحط من ايام البابا ديمتريوس الاول هو البابا نمر 12 علشان يورينا يو هاف تو تو ستارت اون هامبل نوت ات يور ورك بيبول ويل لاف يو مور اف يو ار ا هامبل بيرسون ان ذا تشيرش اف يو ار ا هامبل بيرسون يو ار جوينج تو اتشيف مور از اف يو ار ا هامبل بيرسون يو ار جوينج تو اتشيف ان يور سبيريتشوال لايف بت انفورشنتلي سو ماني بيبول لايك تو بي ا هاي فلاير they like to show that there is a big thing coming along and achievements and 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 no this is not the way the lord wanted to say that every time there is humility there is achievement without humility there is no achievement the lord the christ who is god incarnate allowed himself to be tempted by the devil the three temptations that were mentioned in the gospel and he overcame the the devil and became victorious so that he opens a way for us to be victorious against the devil. So Adam and Eve opened the door, for, uh, the door for humanity to be defeated by the devil. That's Adam and Eve. The Lord Christ, who is the second Adam, opened the door for humanity to overcome the devil. And this is why this is very important. And the importance of it, the importance of it, that before any achievement, there must be humility. The person when he is humble at work, at home, in the church, everywhere, the person is supposed to be really worshiping period person and the humble, then achievement will come just exactly as the Lord Christ achieved the good missionary work, the good service, and the good salvation. But it was first that he acted in humility and starting not from the declaration on the river by, by the voice of God the Father. May the Lord help us always to be humble so that we can be in the right direction. Glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. Thank you very much for your attention. Greatly appreciate it.